Hi, I'm Bob the Hippie Gardener. If you're a gardener, come on. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at a crop that I just planted a few weeks ago. This is one of my late crops of uh, carrots that I grow. I plant carrots about every two to three weeks over the early summer and this was the last crop that I, I got in as carrots. And this was about, oh I'd say four weeks ago, so almost a month ago. So as you can see, these are growing really good. There's three different varieties and they're obviously different sized. So you got three rows here that I planted them about, oh I'd say four inches apart so they got room for the carrots to grow. But when the tops get up here, they'll shield the whole ground so you don't have to weed anything. But one of the things you do have to do is you have to thin them mercilessly. So if I look down here at the end of the row, you can see there's a lot of carrots in this row. So I'm going to pull like every other one here to just get kind of a, a better spacing. And there might be a little few carrots you could even eat here if you want. And that kind of thins out that row so that there's room for those carrots to get bigger in that row. And you would do the same thing with these other ones. And then like I say, some of these you can maybe get some baby carrots for your salad. So you would do the same thing with these other rows where you have too many carrots. You don't want them to be this close together. These are a lot smaller. It's a good time to actually thin them out. You can thin those out like that. And they got one more row back here. And again, different sized carrots, different kinds of carrots. And I don't really concern myself with necessarily leaving the largest ones. I concern myself more with spacing them out well so that they can fill in as they grow. So those all look pretty good. So that's how you thin out a bed of carrots. And right next to them I have some open space which we're going to plant real quickly here. We're going to plant some spinach and some beets. And we're going to plant a kind called Giant Noble Spinach. And it's a little bigger than, say, um, your other kinds. Uh, it gets bigger leaves and the plant gets bigger. You get a lot of spinach for the space, actually. And these raised beds have some good soil in them. Pretty easy to make a row ready to go here. Now later what will happen, these, as they get harvested, will be out of the way. So this will get a little bit more sun. A little bit later after these pepper plants get done and so this stuff can kind of grow on into the fall and again a good de good depth to plant them is about three times the diameter of the seed Sometimes a little bit more than that. So beet seeds are kind of big, so you can plant them down a little farther. That makes them easy to plant though.
and I'll thin these out later. So I'm planting them a little thicker because it's hot out and I'm hoping they're going to sprout. And I think I can barely reach over there. And then the other row we're going to plant right here just far enough away for the plants to grow. I've got them about six seven inches apart. The rows, six or seven inches apart. And these are the giant noble spinach seeds. And we hope that it won't get into the high 90s in the next week or so and these will sprout. If not, well, I've got lots of seed. We'll have to replant them a couple of weeks later, maybe. But it's always worth a try. And the weather's been kind of cool, actually, here in Illinois, even though it's been hotter than blazes every place else. When I say cool, I mean in the 80s, which is cool for August here in Illinois as those of you in Central Illinois know. So all that remains to be done is to kind of zip these rows up and that's pretty easy, just use them like a zipper. You can just kind of zip them right up. Just like that. And we put our labels on the rows so we know what we planted. And that's how you do some fall planting of beets and spinach.